Welcome back. This is uh, round four of the startup competition. And uh, I'm David Hornick, and uh, we have a new set of judges. So I'm going to give just a quick introduction, then let them introduce themselves. Uh, Andrew Lacey, who uh, now is SVB, SVP of Disney, but we'll let him explain the path there. We've got Steve Rubel, who's uh, uh, an SVP over at Edelman. And then we have Nicholas Van Bremersch. How'd I do? Not so much, huh? Uh, who's CEO of, uh, of Spin Tank. And uh, why don't you guys just give a quick introduction of, uh, of yourselves? Sure, so, so let me start. My name's Andrew. I'm uh, one of the original founders of a, of, of a very early iPhone company called Tapulous. And we, we uh, were famous for an application called Tap Tap Revenge, which I think now is pushing 40 million downloads. So on one in three phones and iPod touches out there. And we were acquired by Disney back in July. And now, now we run Disney's mobile business worldwide. I'm uh, Steve Rebell. I'm Senior Vice President, Director of Insights for Edelman, uh, we're the largest, uh, largest independent PR firm. And uh, my job is to study emerging trends and technologies and think about how they're going to impact our clients uh, in the next uh, two to five years. And I work mostly with uh, global, uh, large global brands. Hi, so I'm Nicholas. I'm a French. Uh, used to be a blogger. Uh, my nickname on Twitter is Versac, V-E-R-S-A-C. I'm the CEO of Spin Tank, which is a corporate and public communications company, which helps ministries, big corporations, try to engage and listen to their audience online. Great. Well, thank, thank you, the three of you. So here's how it's going to work. Going to have the companies give us five minutes about what they're doing, and then we're going to ask them questions for six, and then, uh, and then we'll bring on the next group. So... Uh, to get things started, we have Tagitude from, uh, from France with Yves Aonet. So come on out, Tagitude. There you go. A smattering of applause. Okay, good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the organizer and maybe the jury for selecting us. We're very happy to be here. Uh, what we are going to speak about today is, uh, I mean, I want to present you our company, which is dedicated to uh, offering to uh, emerging countries uh, a new generation of technology for developing so socially those countries uh, around the payment business and the mobile payment business. First of all, I want to share with you this, this uh, map that is pretty scary in a way. Uh, if you look at it, every country that is not dark green is unbanked, which means that uh, when you arrive in those countries, between 80 and 90% of the population has never met a banker, doesn't know what an account is, and uh, he's living every day with cash. And cash is definitely a, a tremendous limit for development. And the big news that you all know about, of course, but that has been surprising everyone, is that in all those countries, there is a complete generation of mobile phone. Today, we have three billion people that, ha that have uh, cash in one pocket and a mobile phone in the other pocket and they never had a banker. And the mobile phone can be a tool to deliver them financial services, sometimes very basic financial services, but uh, extremely necessary for them to come out of poverty where they are. And uh, if I will add a few figures, uh, uh, th there are some people that we call the next billion that are the middle class that are going to d take those countries out of poverty. They have about $8 per day to live and uh, they don't have a banker. So our technology is very simple. You're going to see it. I won't have to describe it. Here it is. When you take two phones, what you just heard is an electronic transaction. We use the microphone and the loudspeaker as an antenna and we share data. And inside this little noise that you heard, there is an electronic transaction data, what we call a transaction data, which is what is necessary to do when you put a smart card inside a reader. That's the kind of data that is transmitted between the reader and the smart card, okay? So the, what is interesting, what you saw is that it's valid for any existing phone, whatever operator. So we can launch systems that are completely free from uh, any type of network. So it's very simple. But in fact, it's extremely sophisticated. Technology that has been developed uh, for the last three years, and we are extremely we are focusing on R&D. And what you just heard is full of technology. So the way it works, 
you see, we just send from the bank a little signal to one phone, and then the other phone receives it and the transaction is made, and that's how we're going to be able to debit and credit accounts. Today we have 12 services that we have developed, and I'm going to focus on one because I don't have time, and I will focus on retail transaction. Retail transaction is what we call, I mean, what you do every day when you come to a store. So here we have a small uh, terminal, and here is the way it works. Voilà, 1500 francs CFA. 1500 francs CFA, oui. À côté de 3500, il y a un autre So what you just saw is in the retail store. Of course, the same thing can work on the web. And we do the exact same thing with the web page, which means that we're going to open e-commerce for anyone who has a phone, especially in those countries. They will be able to do transactions on the web, which is a dramatic situation today where they cannot because they don't have any payment means. Same thing with ATM. Uh, an ATM is a PC, and you can do the exactly that with an ATM. So you can retrieve money with your existing mobile phone from an ATM. Okay. Um, today, after two years of work, we are present in 27 countries. There's an incredible demand that is happening over there. And we are definitely working on a new design of this world, where Africa is obviously the center of the world. Everything is happening there. That's where the future of payment is being built. We have partners. We have like 120 people working on the development on our platform in all those different countries. And uh, it is definitely changing the face of uh, payment in general. Of course, those technologies are happening in Africa, but they're starting to be uh, uh, needed in other countries like in Europe or Western Europe. And uh, our idea today is to completely change the paradigm of the banking business using the phone as a payment tool, your phone, anyone's phone, whatever operator and whatever handset you have. Now it's our turn. Uh, let me start by with, with, a, with a quick question. So, so how exactly does this compete with um, the short code billing providers and the, and the carriers that, and in particular carriers that already have an existing relationship um, with the customer? No, well, the carrier is not in the loop. The carrier is just carrying the data. I mean, the, the, the voice. Uh, our customers are banks. And banks are, are looking for ways to, to increase the number of uh, user of customers they have because they know that this population is getting more and more uh, attracted by, by, by uh, banking and financial services. Uh, I have here, wherever here, uh, uh, an article today in the, in the French newspaper explaining how African banks are looking for those customers. So it's not really the carrier, it's the banks. They have customers that they can enroll uh, very different ways, various ways. With our technology, we can do it with a viral way Meaning if you send money to someone, if I send money to you, you will be suddenly having an account that could be a bank account somehow, and uh -huh. you will be able to spend that money somewhere. So uh -huh. you don't need to be enrolled in advance. Just by receiving the money, we'll open the account. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a little confused. I'm missing out on something. Um, how, how do they pay for their mobile phone if they don't have a bank account? Oh, good. No, no. 99% of the African... Uh, or maybe 98, have prepaid cards. And they don't pay, you, you, you know, it's another way. They, they, uh, you know, we're building new, new use, new way to use the technology. In Africa, you don't pay for prepaid card. You want to call, you raise your hand, a little guy comes and sells you, you know, one minute of communication, you give him cash, you enter the figures and you call your mother. So that's it. And so the revenue model for you is a licensing fee or is it a, or is it by transaction? No, it's all, we, we are a software company and we sell license to bank. So the bank buy our platform, also banks. Sometimes they are banks, sometimes they are service companies who work for banks, but there's always a bank because we speak about cash, money, okay? And uh, our, uh, our revenue comes from a license per user, usually. That's the average uh, uh, customers are that way. How do you make it the dominant uh, technology or to, to make people, uh, to get so many people to get to use it? 
well, it's all, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a local adventure. We provide the technology to companies that are looking for solutions to bring this service to their people. So we don't do the marketing side. We are only the technology side. We are like an open source platform. We deliver those platforms to, let's say, Namibia. In Namibia, they make a plan. They hire, you know, they raise money. It's a startup. They raise money. They find a bank to back them up. And then they, they make a program. Uh, you, can, you can go on our website. They are advertising on TV in Namibia using our technology how to, to, you know, to get those financial services. And, and from, that, from that point, they, they start to develop like, like we did in France, like you did in Europe. S same idea. It's, it's, uh, but the, the, the big difference is that instead of having to give cards and to enroll people, you just need to send them money and they're enrolled. So if, since the phone is a standard phone and there's nothing to put on the phone for the system to work. And is the technology dependent on a spe special types of mobile terminals? Or? Oh, no, 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 no. It's completely transparent. It can work with any phone. Any ex you know, if the phone can receive a call and speak, it works. That's nice. So it's a definition of a phone. So, so we use the microphone and the loudspeaker. And a phone without a microphone or loudspeaker is not a phone. So they all work. So you need, you need to have a phone number, which is a phone which is related, you know, connected to an account that we create in our platform. And everything else is handled extremely securely. And you can debit and credit your account using your phone. You can pay in a retailer. You can get cash at the ATM, etc. Th that's what it is. So um, what kind of relationships do you have with the financial services community and to be able to go in and sell the technology to the banks? And, uh, and also, uh, the technology team that you have to work with and the security involved, what kind of pedigree do they have and experience? OK, so first, uh, I've been, the, uh, let's say, the head of innovation of uh, Schlumberger's smart card division for 10 years. So I know extremely well the electronic transaction business. So now, we are compliant with all the, the standards of security that are required by banks, French banks, American banks, English banks, which are, in fact, connected to uh, African banks or, or Latin American banks, OK? now. Since we don't have a car technology, but we have a new technology, we don't need to be compliant with all the start standards. So we, we, we are you know, the equivalent in level of security. We are certified by the banks when they analyze our structure, you know, our, our solution, they, they, they audit it. And, and, and since we are building a new world, all that is being done, all that is being made. But, but we are in a, in a place where the, there were nothing on the, on the ground, and we are building something new. So we are creating the standards working, I would say. But the, on the security side, we are extremely high in security level. I mean, for instance, we are the, the supplier of Orange uh, in Orange Money for, in Ivory Coast and soon in Mali and, and Senegal. You know, those guys have been working for one year trying to kill our system before they, they bought it, naturally. So we, we, are, we are extremely sensitive to security. And it's too difficult to explain now, but the overall architecture is extremely secure. So do you have any other distribution? How are you doing on, since it's all about having banks and the capacity for someone to say, oh, here, I'm going to do this okay. transaction. How are you doing on distribution at this point? Yeah, the distribution is, uh, that's why we're here. We are extremely web company, OK? Uh, we are 10. Uh, I would say we don't have any sales team. Uh, when you Google mobile payment, you find us. And they find us. There are hundreds of companies who are looking on how to develop mobile payment in the world. They connect with us. We, we speak to them on Skype. We teach them on Skype. We change, you know, uh, part of our platform, software tools, etc. Then we, they buy the platform. We sell, we install the platform without, you know, through the web. We train them. They develop their own applications, or they use the applications we have developed for them. They sometimes share application between customers. We have a, a community that is being built, uh, and uh, and we uh, and and they go up and running. The, the most exciting example is Namibia. Namibia, you know, we did all of that. They purchased, the, so we did all the pre-sale. Then they purchased the platform. We installed it. They bought the server. They bought the gateways. They, they were trained. They have 20 developers working there. They launched the service like three months ago. They have every day more transactions. And we have never been to Namibia, and they never came to Paris, you know? Is it great? Just one quick last yeah, question. Sure. The, 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 the source of competitive advantage is primarily the patents that you hold? Or do you think it's no, related it's, to the banks? The, all our solution is patented. We have seven international patents, uh, which is the noise you heard. 
the noise you heard it requires ex not a lot of expertise. It looks simple, but it's, it's extremely complex because it goes through some complex network. But uh, the, uh, the, the, the solution, the technology itself, is patented, and uh, that's why... So, so you, don't, you don't think that, uh, that modems from, from time ago is prior art to that exchange sure. of information no, no, via no. sound? No, no, we haven't patented the fact that we transfer data through noise. I mean, that is facts and uh, our modem that we knew. But it, we, uh, we have uh, uh, tremendously improved the technology to put it at the edge of GSM, and, and, and so we, if, naturally we've capitalized. And in fact, our engineers are, are, are coming from uh, the, 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 this, uh, this uh, uh, signal processing uh, uh, business, I mean expertise, that, that are putting at the latest edge of technology what we used to do very slow and very inefficient. Today our technology can, can support extremely noisy environment, can be very fast, and is very secure, and all that is new. Great. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.